if you or someone that you love is going to undergo a radical prostatectomy, this video is for you. Today I'm going to talk about what happens after the surgery, the early and post-operative care, and more importantly, we are going to discuss what it's really like to live without a prostate. So first of all, what is exactly radical prostatectomy? Well, radical prostatectomy is actually a surgical procedure that involves the removal of the entire prostate gland and it is often offered to remove localized prostate cancer, meaning if the cancer has not spread out of the prostate area. Now, this surgical procedure may also be offered for some men whose prostate cancer has started to spread out just outside the prostate. Now, during the first few days of the surgery, your body actually undergo through several, several adjustments. Now, one of the most common things you will notice is the presence of urinary catheter. Most patients leave the hospital with this tiny tube in place, which helps drain urine from the bladder while the surgical site here. And it's going to stay there for about one to two weeks. Now, it is true that it's going to make you a little bit uncomfortable but it is just temporary and it is essential for proper healing process. Now, along with the presence of catheter, you might also experience mild pain or discomfort. Now, this mild pain can actually work control with some over-the-counter medication or prescribed painkiller. That is going to help take care of this problem. Now, along with that, you might also experience swelling or bruising around your lower abdomen or perineal area depending on how the surgery is being performed and it is also completely normal to feel fatigue your body has undergo through a major operation so fatigue may last for about few weeks now one of the most important thing you need to understand is that you are going to have bloating you are going to have difficulty passing gas now the reason is that anesthesia coupled with limited movement can slow down your gut and that is why most doctors often encourage gentle walking as soon as you are able to, that is going to help wake up your digestive system. Now, along with walking, drinking water, as well as eating soft, high fiber food can make significant difference. Now, let's talk about the late post-operative period. What happened weeks or even months after the surgery? Now, this is actually where readjustment begins, physically, emotionally, or in your day-to-day -day routine. Now, there are two main issues that may arise. Now, one of the most common one is urinary incontinence. Most men experience urine leakage when they are sneezing, coughing, or exercising, and that is called stress incontinence. Why for some other men, they have this urgent need to urinate even when their bladder isn't full. But the good news is that this can improve over time, especially with pelvic floor therapy like an Kigo exercise that is going to help improve this urinary incontinence, all right? Now, for some other men, this symptom may persist and they may require additional treatment, additional medication. The second thing that most men will likely experience is erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction is very common after radical prostatectomy. But the good news is that recovery is very possible and it just depends on a few key factors like your age, your pre-surgery sexual function, and it also depends on whether the surgeon was able to preserve those nerves that control erection. But for many men, erection gradually returns, but it often takes months. And in some cases, medications like Viagra as well as vacuum pump may actually be needed. Now the goal is not just to restore your erection, but also to improve blood flow and improve your tissue health. And that is actually where penile rehabilitation comes in. And in fact, penile rehabilitation should, should be done as early as few months after the surgery to improve long-term health outcome, all right? So now the question you might be having right now is, do you still have orgasm after radical prostatectomy? Well, the answer is yes. Even without the prostate, even though you do not ejaculate sperm, you can still have the sensation of orgasm. Though it might feel a little less intense or different at first, as time goes on, this is going to improve. Your orgasmic pleasure is going to improve. 
And that brings us to the most commonly asked question, what is life like without a prostate? Well, that is definitely a big adjustment, both physically and emotionally. You are living without an organ that once played a central role in your reproductive system. And that comes with a lot of changes. Your fertility is lost, erection may need help, and your orgasm may actually feel a little bit different. However, living without a prostate is very, very possible. And in addition to that, it also means living a healthy life without having to worry about prostate cancer. And even your urination may also improve. And that is because before the surgery, when your prostate is enlarged, that can result in frequent urination and other urinary changes. But after this surgery, your urination may actually improve. So your key takeaway message here is that living without the prostate is very possible and you can still fulfill your life. Your future is still worth living, all right? So these are some of the things that actually happens after radical prostatectomy. Alright? Thanks for watching.